Hello everyone and welcome to, or welcome back to, our second installment of Let's Play Undertale for its anniversary, well its second anniversary. Uh, as you can see we have our lovely little Toriel sitting here reading her book, even though we kind of parted on sad terms, but let's get back to it. Oh yes, I forgot that I saved here. Alright, time to avoid that ruins music. And back into the creepy basement. I have always wondered whether the ruins are just naturally purple stone, or if it's just for dramatic mood lighting. And you'll notice that's the rune that was on Toriel's little robe. I was always impressed with how the game chooses to forego its usual music and just go dead silent. It's a big step to take. Some games rely too much on ambient noise. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? I mean, at least not, not at least just average. I don't know. In this world, it's kill or be killed. But I just proved that it isn't. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. I mean, I spared more than that, dude. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody. This time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? Well, relentless killer. You? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry. My little monarch, my plan isn't regicide. That's a good word to use. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> so I actually based my voice for Flowey off that little laugh there. Uh, as well as in the murder run where you kill everybody, he actually has a, a voiced line of dialogue. title of the game. Only an hour in. It did confuse me a bit when I first was running through this. I'm like, wait, now the game's starting? I guess so. The ruins were your prelude. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Who could be watching from just around the corner? I didn't realize these were trees at first. I thought I, that they were some kind of fence or wall. I assumed we were underground, okay? Trees don't make sense to me down here. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. And I like how we have basically switched from the dead silence of talking to an evil flower to eerie ambient noise in, a creepy, in the creepy woods. Well then. It's been smashed like it was nothing. Skelebros playing. Trying to freak me out. Hold on. Aha! Oh. Holy sh That gave me slight goosebumps there. I didn't realize he'd speed up if I went back. <laughs> wow. Okay. Maybe he's a little creepier than I thought. <laughs> Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. A classic. <laughs> the old little cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. 
So is the skeleton, and my favorite character. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. You liar. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Was that supposed to be a gate? Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Where did you get the conveniently shaped lamp? What's up, bro? You know what's up, brother! Boy, this voice. I cannot resist moving around this voice. It's a testament to character writing that you can tell that this character is moving and energetic all the time. Just from how he talks. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. You wanna look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human! Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You are not helping! You lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle. It's the first time I've ever heard that word in my life, and I love it. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. A skeleton? Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it! <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Ugh! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more. A backbone into it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you can come out now. I like to think that Sans reaches across time and space to pull out a sound for his puns. <laughs> you wanna get going? He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What's the hold up? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Sarcasm isn't funny, Sans. <laughs> you would tell me this later. Actually, it's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. You know. Somebody's gotta have a side business, right? Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was just thinking, my brother's been kinda down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. But you went the wrong way. <laughs> the convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Sans, an eternal enigma wrapped in a mystery. Tied up in the perfect puzzle. Hello, Snowdrake. This teen comedian fights to gave a captive audience. Ice puns are no problem. Gosh. Whew. All you gotta do is laugh. See, laughs. Dad was wrong. That's kind of sad. It's okay. I'll laugh at your dumb puns. That's all you needed. This is a box. Thank you, I can see that. You can put an item inside or take an item out. You know, it looks more like a chest for Minecraft to me. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. But which monster could that be? Use the box? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's see. 
Now yet another item of a person that was a little more unfortunate than you. You know, I notice a lot of people seem to assume that the first, like, all the people that came before you were children. But, I mean, there's nothing that says that explicitly. They could have, one or two of them could absolutely have been adults. Or teenagers. It's a fishing rod affixed, affixed to the ground. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was said somewhere that they were all children. I'm not sure. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird-looking monster. What does this child define as weird-looking? I guess a skeleton isn't weird-looking, so... We only t do have a few examples up to this point. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Still using that cell phone. So, as I was saying about Undyne... And then they fell over because they were dizzy. Sons! Oh my god, is that... a human? Not oh, quite. Uh... Actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is... is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sons, I finally did it! Undyne will! I'm gonna! I'll be so! Popular! 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 Ahem. <clears throat> human, you shall not pass this area. I, the great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue, only if you dare. Nyahaha! <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you to think that Sans is just the kind of person that can't even, like, stop himself from making puns. Not that he would want to, anyway. Ice Cap struts into view. I already know how to deal with you. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here. Yeah, but I don't want to look at it. You can't just force people to look at your hat, man. Seems defeated. Okay, I'll ignore you too. Well, I mean, that'd be appreciated. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well crafted sentry station. Who could have built this? You ponder. I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. <laughs> you tried, Pap. Absolutely no moving. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. I guess Doggo's trying to be a commando. Unless those aren't. I, for some reason, I assumed those were like cargo pants, but now I realize that they're like leopard print or something. <laughs> he also has a picture of a dog on his tank top. I got all the double knives. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Not chasing squirrels, just squirrels. Don't move an inch. So glad you told me that, bud. Doggo can't seem to find anything. So we gotta do what we ought to do with all dogs. We must pet. What? I've been pet! Pet, pot, pet, pot, pot. Doggo has been pet. S something pet me. So something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. So I voice Doggo with my teeth clenched because he's got that dog treat in his mouth, so I assume he's not opening his mouth properly. Hello? Is anybody there? No? Are you two playing a trick on me? Real funny. I like that he makes references to the other dogs that you'll find in this area. Big guy? Is that you? Come on. 
Well, it's not the tall skeleton. He's too loud. I also like to imagine he's constantly moving. Whoever you are, knock it off! I can't stop. Okay, I can stop when you give me the three dots. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Am I taller than Sales? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm like an inch taller than Sales. How, sh how short is, is Sales? Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. And yellow. Can Sans change his font color on command? Because I feel like he did that on purpose. <laughs> Lesser dog appears. Once again, how do you deal with a dog? You have to pet them! You barely lift your hand unless it got, dog it got excited. So it is my personal theory that Lesser Dog here is an American Eskimo dog. I know some people kind of draw it as a Pomeranian type thing, but I've had bad experience with Pomeranians. Also, I know I can spare it now, but... You know, there's no way I can possibly avoid this madness. How can you stop petting a dog? It was a good dog. It's the best dog. Ooh. Gotta stop throwing that spear around. This excitement knows no bounds. Excited noises. He's overstimulated. Oh no. Critical pet. Dog excitement increased. Not even attacking anymore. I have to jump up to pet the dog. I like to imagine it's like six feet tall now. I'm not entirely sure, because this game was in development for around two years, I think. But I wonder if Lesser Dog's neck stretching here was inspired in any way by Long Cat. Because I remember that was a meme. There is no way to stop this madness. No, there really isn't. Kettle whistle. Lesser Dog enters the realm of the clouds. You call the dog, but it's too late. It cannot hear you. I love this joke. <laughs> Like I said, I really enjoy jokes that involve just you being way too involved with the game. Now this, as I, I'm sure you can imagine, goes on for much longer, but we will leave it here. <laughs> but I got 20 gold for that. All I had to do was pet a dog. I wish I got paid 20 gold every time I pet a dog. I'm a self-sustaining uh, income for the rest of my life. Hello. I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please, take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Right, Rooney. Now, I notice the snowman seems awfully short, and sometimes I think that maybe perhaps the humans that came before you also took a piece of the snowman and took them, took it along with them on their little journey through the underground. North ice, south ice, west ice, east, Snowden town, and ice. So I like to think that the ice that it's referring to are merely the patches around it. You're so lazy! You are napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses! Oh ho! The human arrives! In order to stop you! My brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will minister a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you'll probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Something I've always noticed about Papyrus is, even though he says that he hates 
but he yeah, kind of behaves as though he hates Sans' puns. Apparently being around Sans long enough really rubs off on you because he seems to, like, you will find this quite shocking, really. You're just as guilty as he is, Pap. Just as guilty. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Can you tell I like this section a lot better than the ruins? <laughs> this is where I actually started to fall in love with this game. Hold this, please! Okay, try now. Not that I don't love Goat Mom, but I, she reminded me far too much of an overbearing mother, while these guys seem legitimately like people I would hang out with all the time. <laughs> Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. Your belief in your brother's puzzle-making skills is so adorable. <laughs> I know I am. Yeah. <laughs> and you just moonwalked out of here. <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way... Did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? You mean that awesome outfit? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man. This is my brother cool. What's that little side glance you got going there, Sans? Do you know what you're saying is a little silly, maybe? <laughs> he is cool in that he's amazingly kind. He's, he's a bit of a dork otherwise. <laughs> but it's okay. Dorks make the best friends. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Hello, would you like some ice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. I give him that voice because I get really annoyed with this guy because he constantly pops up later in the game and he con he's always raising the prices of the stupid ice cream. <laughs> oh no. Am I hurt? I think I'm hurt. Okay. Give, give me an ice cream. Here you go. Have a super duper day. I will. Don't she's not playing this. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Not ball. I'm terrible at this. <laughs> I'm doing better than I usually do. So close. Yay! I did it. Okay. Green, your concern and care for Ball led you to a delicious victory. You awarded one gold. Ah, <laughs> Darn it. I thought that one would be worth more. I rarely get the green flag. So, there are six flags you can get in this game, and six different colors, and each flag represents a different person that came down here. Uh, as well as their, like, how they how they dealt with the challenges that they had to go through. It's like there's nothing more to offer. Or nothing else to offer. Uh, it's like, like this one, uh, the human that it represents, obviously, was very concerned and careful. But ultimately, they perished nonetheless. What is it, Sans? I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? It's just five gold. I say five gold. I'm at fifty gold. Really? How about five thousand gold? Well, I mean, I don't have that much. I have to pay for the raw material somehow. My favorite thing is if. How about five thousand gold? You're like, yeah, five thousand gold. That's my final offer. What? You don't have the money. Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. Troll. His. Hers. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating can become yellow rating. Nothing like a low key dog peeing on snow joke. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. I don't understand in this game why suddenly there's just colors in the wrong font colors. I don't. I don't know. I'm not sure how else to describe that. 
always my question. Is Sans wearing a shirt or is that just his ribcage underneath that hoodie? Uh, oh yeah. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. I love those meta jokes. Because we're in a pixelated art game, get it? Human, I hope you're ready for. Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. The best thing about that is he's right. If you actually could somehow circle these words and you can find every every single one of these, except for that one on the right, uh, near the bottom right, the Giasthical Febre Febreper. So you notice that after FCL, it's spelled F-E-B. If you look at the top line, it's, it, after the FCL, it's spelled F-U-B instead. So that word actually doesn't exist in the word search. Yeah. <laughs> Sans, that didn't do anything. Oops. Knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that, in my opinion. Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. This reminds me so much of me and my Ivy younger sister. This is probably why I like Sans so much. Um, but we used to argue all the time about certain things being difficult or not. Or she would always get up on me on how, like, I would say something is hot. I would say something's hard, she'd be like, no, it's so easy, or I'd be like, wow, it's really cold outside, she's like, no, it's not cold at all, and she's like, I swear to god, she's doing it to annoy you. <laughs> Which is harder? <laughs> Jeff Lloyd crossword. Well, I mean, in reality, crossword is harder. <laughs> but I also love the death. Ha! Ha! Yes! Humans must be very intelligent if they also find Junior Jumble so difficult. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. But Sans knows. Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to freeze my brother. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. He'll solve it one day. Don't you doubt him? <laughs> this joke again. Knowing a mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti. It fills you with determination. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap. Designed to entice you. Do you notice that his audio cue is actually playing under this note even though you're reading it? I imagine this works somewhat like a howler in uh, in Harry Potter where you open it and the sound just plays. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. So thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. Yeah, <laughs> Papyrus. Yeah, you got me, bro. I would totally eat this if it wasn't stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. I've been tempted more than once to just put stickers over all of the settings on my microwave to make them say either all just off or now that I've played this game, I'll say spaghetti. <laughs> Warning, dog marriage. Yes, you read that correctly. There's a camera hidden inside the tree. And yet another camera. I'm a star. Jerry. We all know that we all know that one friend, man, Jerry. You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. Where's your hat? Oh gosh. Uh, wasn't expecting this pattern. Strange thing about Jerry is he never uh, he never actually attacks you. Being shot at with copious amounts of ice. No, Jerry's back. I just can't get rid of him. Wow, you guys suck at this. Which Jerry just exists to be the negative friend. Ow. I think we all know that downer, don't we? It literally just says Return of Jerry. Yeah, but 
Jerry doesn't even have attack. He just exists to be a downer. Well, can you give me a ride home? No. Everyone knows Jerry. Makes attacks two seconds- Oh! He's a passive effect. Uh, how do I spare you? Guess I'll just have to ditch you. Huh. I'm not- I know there's a way to spare him, I just can't remember it. Question is, who covered this- who made this map, and then who covered it in snow? There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. It was conveniently empty patch that looks different from the rest of the snow. Not Grim Reaper dogs. Well, that's what I originally thought they were anyway. What's a smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, I'd identify your smell. I think the parentheses ones are dog, uh, the female dog, because it's dog marriage. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Doe guy, I assault you. Aw, oh, and they do a little nose, nose kiss. Gotta roll around. You smell like a weird puppy. Take my wife's fleas. Don't, actually. Their axe is made a heart. Come on, spell me again. Actually, what am I doing? I'm, I'm pretty sure I can just. Yeah. You played fetch for a while. Nose. Number two, nose champs, 98. Of course, we were number two. 1998? My goodness. It's unfortunate we don't know when this year takes place because that 98 number two nose nuzzle champs in 1998 would give us a real real great hint about uh when this last happened. Weird smells can be good things. Friendly fun fetch. Thanks, weird smell. It sure was fun to stick together. Sticks are the best. Hours of prolonged simple playtime. Wish I could be that easily entertained. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. But I already knew that. What? How did you avoid my trap? And I know you don't mean the circle trap. And, more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Pyrus about his spaghetti? Papyrus. I definitely ate it. Wowee! No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then. For a not human, I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have lied, but truly, had it been me, I would have at least attempted to... I totally would have attempted to lick the frozen spaghetti. <laughs> I don't know. I would have got my stuck tongue stuck to it, no doubt. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do. Without such a cool guy taking care of him. Yeah. I'm sure he wonder what he would do too, Bob Irish. Yeah. Human. Hmm. How do I say this? You are taking a long time to arrive, so... I decided to improve this puzzle. By arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And... As usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Now, I actually know this puzzle pretty easily, but something I like to do... Instead of like just solving it like a normal person. Because who would ever do that? Is actually make it look more like his face. There 
we go. <laughs> okay. So, you want a hint, huh? Well, I've been looking at the puzzle, and I think the solution is to turn all of the X's into O's. You should try that. Ask again for more great hints. Thank you, Babby. Maybe solving the last puzzle again will help. Ask again for more great hints. The last puzzle? You want me to walk back here? Why would solving the last puzzle help? My goodness. <laughs> Alright. Pretty sure it's... Yep, there it is. There we go. Wow, you solved it! My advice helped! It really helped you! Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you! Yeah! <laughs> I feel like the reason everyone, including myself, makes his voice so higher pitched and nasal is just that that undeniable influence from Skeletor. The the first high pitched, overly excited skeleton. The OG dog. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. I couldn't ask you for help. You were beyond the spikes. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. Same. Same. Oh, this song. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Oh, once I throw the switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery slope. Smells like lemons! Which piranhas do I like? Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? I actually did understand, but I do love this joke. Okay, I guess I'll repeat myself. Red tiles are impassable. Yellow tiles are electric and dangerous. Blue tiles make you fight a monster. Green tiles are water tiles. Orange tiles are unscented. If you step on orange, don't step on green. Brown tiles are... Wait. There are no brown tiles! Purple tiles smell like lemons. Why don't the yellow ones smell lemony? That's a, good, that's a good point. Um, wait. Did I mix up green and blue? The blue ones are water ones. Pink tiles. I don't. Remember? Wait. Those ones don't do anything. Okay. You understand better now? No. But I'm gonna say I do because I don't want to disappoint you. <laughs> Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Yeah, get ready. Entirely random. goes. <laughs> Actually, I know I'm curious. Do piranhas have a good sense of smell? I know sharks can smell blood, but would piranhas actually have an aversion towards citrusy smells? No idea. I know cats don't like the smell of lemons. Most dogs don't either, so do fish also not like the smell of lemons? The machine isn't working. Actually, the spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year, he'll even make something edible. He always does that little side-eye glance whenever he's slightly 
<laughs> Slightly burning papyrus. And this is the result of our petting efforts. Seems like the base of the snow dog. It's the broken head of a snow dog. On the floor inside is a box of Palmer raisins. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. I did. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination, as usual. A dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions, but as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer and it had more snow until it was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. I don't think I could turn away either. Like you had to make a, like, a lightning bolt version. Oops. I already messed that up. Go back. It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sans on it, written on it in red marker. About, about as much effort as I would put in as well, buddy. Uh, can't remember the last time I made a snowman. I think the snow where I grew up was a little difficult to actually make into snow people. Because it was super powdery most of the time. Fortunately, that puzzle's pretty simple. Never gave me much trouble the first time I had to deal with it either. And there was a kiwi on my head. At least I think it was a kiwi. Who's ready for more uh, time and space mess surrounding? Uh, mess surrounding? That's, that's not a verb. Ooh. Gift trot. Gift trot, I'm busy. You know, I think undecorate isn't a word. What was that? Not fair. Barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. It's not very dangerous, barbed wire. I use this tiny cane to walk. I think that's Wimslot's cane. And 35 gold. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have. You mean your scary mouth face. But yeah, let's let's have some time and space fun with, with Seance here. What's up? Say, are you following me? Mm. <laughs> you sure do like to exercise. And I guess you don't, considering how fast you're teleporting back and forth. Teleporting really is the epitome of laziness, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not gonna walk places. It's a door. A door which I have actually never opened. <laughs> I know what's in it. But, uh... I haven't replayed this game that many times. Also, nothing like creepy four-eyed monsters living in the mountain, right? Is this... This is underneath a mountain, but I'm not sure how far underneath a mountain it is. Because in the beginning, your kid climbs up to the top of a mountain and then falls down. But we're not really given... I mean, it must have been a survivable height, right? Or maybe you died, and the reason you can wake up is just because you loaded a save file. It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. Oh, I like this joke. This, he, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Yeah, this kind of humor is right up my alley. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Eh? There's 30 gold inside this. What is this? <laughs> Woof. What a tiny doghouse. Now I like to envision this guy, rather. So, where I envision the other go dog as an American Eskimo dog, I see this one as more of a Samoyed. Considering that I think this kid is about eight. Also, how big he is. 
Samoyeds are basically living cloud dogs anyway. You call the greater dog. It bounced towards you. Fucking slobber into your face. Actually. Oh yeah. And it wakes up. It's so excited. Oh. Ooh. Wait, which one is it? Oh yeah. Time to play! It spots in the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. Or set on you. But you're pretty heavy. TLC. Your movement's slow. Ah, there. That's so close. Mm. All right. No. I don't know if he actually is bigger than Lesser Dog or not. I think he is. This kind of blows my mind. Is so. I'm not entirely sure if we're above some sort of massive valley. There's a little island down there. In the middle of a lake. Is that like a shack on it? <laughs> Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror! When did you make this? When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. You can't hurt me. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, maybe, too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Perhaps. He just wants- he's just so nice. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Autonomous, in a way. And, uh, he's gone. Snowden! Welcome to Snowden Town. Where even the name of the town is a pun. Alright, the sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Now that we're past some of my favorite areas in the game, my favorite times in the game, uh, I think I will leave this here. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the second uh, entry into our thrilling saga of Undertale, playing it for the, I believe this is the fourth time I've played this game, but I haven't touched it in several, probably in at least a year. Because the last time I finished it, I just left it, and I find it very hard to reset this game. And I have to, in order to do it, I have to reset the save files. Even though I didn't do the genocide run, I just felt bad that... I feel like the game somehow is recording how many pacifist runs I do just to torture me with what I'm doing more or something. So, I actually reset the save files for this one. But I could, yeah, I could never do a genocide run. Um, I know everything that happens in it, and I know all the plot-related stuff. Uh... I am that person that Flowey calls out when he, uh, he, he says some point in that run that there, he bets that there's somebody watching right now who can't do it themselves. One of those sickos that just likes to watch. Although, I definitely don't enjoy watching. <laughs> I can't usually just watch a genocide run. Um, but I do enjoy learning all the things that this game has to offer, and I definitely don't know everything that the game has to offer, so um, I'm going to actually 
try and pry this game a little bit, see if I can find anything that maybe I wasn't aware of before. I know there's some stuff with the calls that I haven't done. Um, phone calls in particular. But yeah, so far, that's my favorite section in the game, bar none, compared to, like, just humor-wise. And the fact that Sans reminds me a lot of myself, mostly because I have a younger, extroverted sibling, and I am a lazy, kind of procrastinator who sleeps a lot, who also wears oversized hoodies. And loves puns. Puns are phenomenal. <laughs> even if, even if internally I cringe sometimes when I say them. But yes. Alright, see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.